Hello everyone, welcome back to 2 Minute Tips, let's get started. Today we will be learning about response requirements by walking through some popular use cases. Starting with multiple choice questions, the most common use case is to limit the number of choices allowed in a multiple answer question type. Now let's scroll to response requirements where we will see two different toggle options. If we toggle add requirements, we will see both force and request response options. Force response requires the respondent to answer the question before they can continue the survey whereas request response alerts the respondent but allows them to continue if they choose. Let's select force response and take a look at the validation options available. We'll leave the custom validation options for a future video and focus on these other options for now. Minimum choice selected won't work for this scenario since it will only force respondents to select at least three and it'll allow them to choose more if they'd like. Select the answer range option and set both of our min and max values as the same number, in this case, three. The combination of force response and answer range validation will force the respondents to answer this question and only select three choices. For the next scenario, we have a text entry question and want to ensure that our respondents are submitting their four digit ID numbers. So just like last time, let's head over to response requirements and enable force response. If we enable validation, we'll notice that we have a few more options than last time. Max and min options won't work because we want exactly a four digit ID. Character range may seem like it will work since we can set our min and max values to be four. However, since this only checks for characters, the respondent can type in four letters and be allowed to continue. Content type validation is especially useful when collecting things such as email addresses, phone numbers, zip codes, and you guessed it, numbers. If we select the number option for this validation, we can set our minimum to be 1000, our max to be 9999, and our decimal maximum of zero. Now, let's head over to preview and ensure that our questions are behaving as expected. Let's try to select less than three colors and more than three colors to see if we're allowed through. As we can see, we have to select exactly three colors in order to continue the survey. For the ID question, let's input less than three numbers and more than three numbers to see if we're allowed to continue. We can also try to add characters or anything else but numbers to see if it allows us to continue. Just as expected, we are required to type in a number higher than 1000 and less than or equal to 9999 to continue. And that's it! Thank you for learning about response requirements with me today. Please remember to subscribe to the 2 minute tip category on the XM community so you never miss a video. And I hope to see you around the XM community.